What is up guys? How's it going? Aster here. Um, today we got something a little bit different. I don't want to call it an update video because that's not really what it is. It's more of, I guess it's me just ranting um, realistically because I'm just going to be talking about stuff that's kind of important to me um, recently and stuff like that. Uh, the first thing I'm going to cover uh, is going to be uh, something <laughs> that happened to me tonight. Uh, and this is kind of the reason that I'm making this video. It's not anything negative. It's actually something positive, which is awesome uh, that I get to talk to you guys about this. But, uh, oh, quick, quick, drop a Draco. But, yeah, uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, so basically, let me explain to you how my channel started real quick. I'm not going to go, like, full all the way, like, uh, through the history of the channel. It's, it's only about eight months old, but basically... Uh, I started off this channel with a really bad headset, uh, PX22s. They're basically supposed to be the better versions of the PX21s, uh, but they ended up not being uh, nearly as good. Uh, mic quality, the sound quality coming out of the, uh, the headset itself um, just was so subpar, uh, and it was more expensive than px 21 so um, that was something that, that was my very first update video was I was talking about how I was going to use a better mic how I was going to start using glitches uh, music on my channel as well because there was no music before uh, this video is not going to have any music because like I said it's just me talking so um, but yeah so this is um, this is basically how it all started I bought px 21s right uh, and they were awesome for the first two weeks and then basically what happened was the the actual speakers, these right here, busted. They didn't work anymore. Now, that doesn't technically matter because all I was using them for was the mic. Uh, however, I will say that being able to hear myself through my headphones uh, was very useful uh, for the first two weeks. But the reason it mattered was, and the reason it matters right now, uh, it's more of an, in an inconvenience thing, and that's been kind of like the whole run of my channel was like inconvenience one after another. Um, the reason it mattered so much was because if I wanted to record a live with somebody, essentially, the only headset that I own at the moment that I could hear them out of without having them blaring through my speakers and having them like double over in my mic and create feedback is these right here. <laughs> these, they may not look like it on screen, but these are enormous. Uh, and essentially what, what I was doing was I had these, uh, my audio might sound a little bit weird now, uh, but I had these around my neck while I was recording with people. I'm gonna get that a little bit further. And I had these on my head so that I could hear them and that I could speak at the same time. And if that's not inconvenient, I don't know what is. Uh, it's not just like that it's heavy and it's it's annoying. It's that it's all, it also gets very, very hot in here, especially when my, I have my door closed, my lights are on, uh, everything so I can actually see what I'm typing and what's on my screen. Um, and that was the big thing, was that it got very, very hot very quickly. It was, uh, wasn't a good feeling <laughs> to be able to record with somebody. And that's um, that's kind of the big thing that I wanted to lead this up to was that um, I just started a series where I've in now invited people onto my channel with me uh, to help me out with the draft reviews. So if I have this kind of setup, which I did for, for Count, by the way, uh, for the Tapu Bulu, Tapu Fini, and Clash episode, uh, the Clash episode you'll be seeing tomorrow when it comes out, but... If I had this setup throughout the entire series, all of the Gen 7 Pokemon that I'm going to cover, uh, and that I'm going to cover, ex cover, excuse me, um, I would eventually get so annoyed that I wouldn't want, <laughs> I wouldn't want to record anything with anybody ever again. And that is not the direction that I want to go in. Some of the most fun videos that I've ever done on this channel have been with other people on. It's, it's so much easier to laugh when other people are making you laugh and it's not just your own dumb puns uh, or your your bad jokes that you think are funny uh, I I think I'm I'm sort of witty but at times 
Anyway, I won't dive too too deep into it, but essentially what I'm trying to say is that I enjoy having other people on the channel with me, and I don't want to have... I want to make it as enjoyable as possible, and I don't want anything hindering or, uh, like, blurring my perception of recording with other people and making it a negative thing. And up until now, having this headset that's over here that I showed you guys before, and this around my neck was doing exactly that. It was um, taking away from the fun of recording with other people. Uh, don't forget, there's also a bunch of wiring that goes into this. I have like th three wires crossing me at all times, and it just gets really, really annoying. Um, so, fast forward, uh, actually, let's, let's rewind once again. After that happened, before I even got this Logitech headset, which I don't recommend to anybody, by the way, it's too expensive for what it is. The mic is, is absolute garbage. Uh, the audio quality is okay, but it's not loud enough. Like It's it's really not good. Don't ever get it. Uh, just a mini review within the, uh, the rant, but um, fa rewind to two weeks uh, after I got my PX21s and the headset, the uh, earphones broke, basically. I ordered another pair of PX21s immediately right after. And when I received them, I was expecting the exact same audio quality, same mic, just functioning headphones. Plugged it into my computer, and wouldn't you know, the mic sounded like garbage. It was unusable. Essentially, every time I said essentially, you'd hear and I was not going to upload with a mic that did that. So I took the mic and I set it aside and I went back to my old one and that's when I started recording with this around my neck and the other headphones on when I was recording with other people. Uh, otherwise I would just have them like this. Now, fast forward to today. Yes, today. So now I'm a little more financially set. In fact, uh, I just got a new PC about three, four weeks ago. Um, something like that. I gotta clean out the fan, actually, that reminds me. Um, <laughs> I have two screens in front of me that I can use now because of this new PC. I have um, basically the setup that I wanted from the very beginning. I just, all I'm missing now, like realistically, all I'm missing now is lighting, like good lighting, because you can see, like right now, it's not the best yet, like this streak going across here because of one of my spotlights. Uh, it doesn't look clean. It doesn't look clean enough. Um, but this webcam is great. Uh, like, I, I love it. It's, it's good for what it is. Um, it's a Logitech C920 for anybody wondering. And yeah, so my setup is fine. Uh, the only real issue was the headset. So now that I'm financially set, uh, I decided, you know what, uh, I'm going to order another pair of PX21s, I'm going to chance it, and I'm going to order one right away, and I picked up my phone, and I got on eBay, uh, Mega Guard of War, by the way, if you guys can see that, I'm going to pull it out here, if I can bring it in closer, it's too much light, there we go, um, yeah, <laughs> I really like Mega Guard of War, ever since the GPC, I had this background before I even played in the GPC, by the way, but, um, so I picked up my phone, I went onto eBay, uh, and I immediately ordered another pair of PX21s, chancing the fact that uh, it, the same thing wouldn't happen again, uh, that those ones that I had set aside, that the mic quality was horrendous, uh, that that would never reproduce itself. Now luckily, I had this weird instinct. Um, back when I had my old PC, I plugged in that headset like three or four times, and every time, that same static and popping sounds, and I, I, I couldn't, I had to unplug it right away. I had an instinct to take that same mic, to take that same headset, those PX21s that I had lying there, and plug them in and test out the mic quality. So I just ran a little Camtasia recording uh, really quickly, just said a couple of words, played it back, perfect audio. And I'm like, what, wait, what's going on? And I noticed that my other mic was really close, so I took it and I put it away. I put it on my bed. And I was like, okay, you stay over there, because both were plugged in. I was like, okay, maybe maybe it's picking up the wrong one. I unplugged it, made sure I was back on a PX21s, and I recorded again. Perfect audio. 
So it turns out that my problem was never this headset that I'm wearing right now. It was my PC. <laughs> And I'm really glad, once again, that I got a new PC because it was my sound card that was messing up my audio. That's all it was. It was purely my sound card that was making all those pops. It was, for some reason, this specific headset was not working with my sound card. And as you can see, as you can tell from this audio quality, it's exactly like my other ones that I have now put away uh, in their own place because the headphones don't work. These headphones work! They work, people! So I never have to use these things again. Let me get into the shot. There we go. Never again, Logitech. Never, well, at least for your headphones, your cameras are alright. But basically, it's going to be a lot more enjoyable now to record with other people for the channel. Uh, this goes back to sub battles. I still have one person that I owe a sub battle to. Uh, which is Sacred Gallade. If you're watching this, uh, I'm really sorry. I've been really, really busy, uh, but we will have our uh, Clefable Metronome battle. I do promise you, I will get back to you uh, very, very soon. Hopefully, uh, this is not too much of a busy time for you. I know the holidays are coming up for a lot of people. But anyway, uh, it's going to be a lot more enjoyable to record lives with other people, and it kind of gives me a newfound motivation to record again. Um, the problem with my recording schedule right now and you think uh, I work from home now for my job like my headset is here I work at a call center and I work from home my entire setup is here this is the reason that I have two screens in front of me right now is because they gave me one so I have two screens plugged in purely because I'm working from home this saves me time for driving I don't waste like an hour to two hours a day just driving in traffic uh, also it saves me um, the just the general stress of traffic, uh, gas money, so I'm saving a lot of money right now. It helps me out immensely, yet somehow, and I'm, I'm going to put this purely on me, somehow my upload schedule has gone completely out of whack, and I'm not as consistent as I was when it was taking me triple the time to render a video that it is now, and that I had less time because I was traveling to and from work. So... Something doesn't give here. I have to get back on my grind, and I, it's going to start right here, right now. This review series is going to take up the majority of the time on the channel uh, for the next month to month and a half, probably, with the number of Pokemon that we have to review. Uh, I'm hoping to get out an episode every single day. It's going to be extremely hard to do, too, guys. I don't think you understand unless you actually uh, do YouTube or do any kind of editing yourself I don't think you can actually understand to the point that how tough this series actually is not because of like finding good partners for Pokemon or uh, coming up with calcs and copy pasting them that's that's not the issue the issue is finding all those notes putting them onto slides each individual slide that you see on that video, I have to make one at a time. Getting those slides into Camtasia, aligning them so that they make sense with the video and the audio, rendering the video, and then uploading it. And this entire process can take up to about three to three and a half hours. For a video, that's half the length of the usual content that I put out that only takes me an hour to an hour and a half to fully produce. So I think I got in a little over my head with this series. I'm going to follow through with it uh, just because at the moment I don't have that much of an affinity for the OU metagame uh, on Smogon in Gen 7 anyway for Pokebank OU simply because a lot of things need to be taken care of. Um, I understand that the tiering council uh, has to take their time with these things. I just wish they would hurry up and get rid of Faramosa at the very least, because that would um, you'd see a lot less Alolan Marowak, you'd see a lot less uh, just general checks to uh, Faramosa in general. Uh, I said in general twice, but <laughs> anyway. Uh, Genesect, um, Greninja, those are both Pokemon that have to go. I think Lando I can stay. 
um, for the time being, but I think those three specifically, Feramosa, Genesect, and Greninja, funny enough, they all get U-turn. Uh, but yeah, they, they pretty much all have to go because they're, they're too bloody fast. Uh, like Genesect typically runs Choice Scarf and Genesect's move pool is disgusting. Like why does a Pokemon that's quad weak to fire get a fire type move? That's like Gyarados getting thunder. It's just, it's, it's hard to understand. But anyway, um, yeah, so that's, that's pretty much, uh, how I feel about OU lives right now. Uh, and I don't think they're going to be coming out as often if like I find a good team which I have a really cool one that I might want to record with for the weekend um, but unless I find like a really cool team that I want to use over and over and over again um, at the moment the OU tier is not appealing at all at all to me like I think I might even hop back into the GOT showcase series uh, that I was doing right before Gen 7 was released uh, or Pokemon Sun and Moon rather and I might just start that up again uh, and do it in Gen 6 OU because there's actually still a lot of people playing Gen 6 OU, surprisingly enough. Um, so yeah, that's, that's pretty much the state of the channel right now. It's going to be more league reviews than anything else. Uh, I know a lot of you didn't sign up for that, that it's more showdown content, but um, I will be eventually bringing showdown content. Just I, have, I feel like I need to wait so that I'm not frustrating myself with team building and with playing, I feel like I need to wait until the tier just settles and everything is back to normal, basically. So that's how I, I'm looking at it. Uh, the last thing, I didn't mention something about my setup, but uh, Tuesday morning. Uh, let's actually back up one more. Monday night, I broke my computer chair. So right now I'm sitting on a patio chair. And this is extremely uncomfortable. And it doesn't move like a regular chair because it's on all fours. It's a patio chair, uh, back patio. So um, Tuesday morning, uh, me and my mom decided that uh, we, we both technically need a computer chair. We both use this computer. Um, and Christmas is coming up. My mom decided, okay, you know what? I'll give you a Christmas gift early. Uh, if you want a good computer chair, a good gaming chair, go for it. And... The only thing I could think of was a DX racer, and those are four hundred to six hundred dollars. Um, and once again, the financial stability coming in hot, I was able to pay for half of it. They tried to deliver it. Um, was it was it Tuesday morning? I think it was Tuesday morning. So it happened Sunday night. I broke uh, the chair broke. Uh, Monday morning we ordered it. Tuesday morning they tried to deliver it, but I was asleep. And yesterday, Wednesday, when I'm actually recording this, uh, they tried to deliver it again, and I was recording the episode with uh, Count, with Count Riario for the Draft League series, and I didn't hear the doorbell. So I'm still sitting on this patio chair, but uh, a DX Racer is coming, guys. Um, it, is, it is on its way. Uh, I gotta go pick it up. I'm also getting an Xbox 360 wired controller, because apparently what I had was not a wired controller. It's a wireless controller with a charging cable uh, that does not work for PC. I got a wireless, uh, sorry, a wired Xbox 360 controller. I ordered one, uh, and I might be trying to upload some Rocket League, potentially, if I get a little bit better. I'm definitely going to be playing with some friends, uh, like Rob, Jar. Uh, I know you guys haven't heard the name Jar in a while, but Jar is, like, back into existence. Uh, he, like, disappeared from the face of the Earth for a while, but he's back now. Um, and we might be doing some Rocket League content. I don't know yet. Uh, I did say that initially when I started this channel that I didn't want to restrict it to Pokemon, uh, but that my Pokemon content would remain consistent. But if I uploaded other things, uh, that that would be fine too. Uh, and I think other people can understand that as well. Uh, if you're still getting the same content that you do on a regular basis, but the content creator is just putting out more stuff. Essentially, the only disadvantage that you have is you have one extra video a day on your sub feed, which if it's that annoying to you, um... I don't want to say unsubscribe, but, like, get real. <laughs> it's just one video. So that's that's how I feel about, about it anyway. So, yeah, um, that's pretty much going to cover it, guys. That's my entire rant. Uh, I'm really looking forward to getting the chair, getting the controller, all of the little 
parcel papers here. Then this is this is the two missed deliveries, uh, and this is the uh, Xbox 360 controller, which I, apparently I also missed uh, that I have to go pick up somewhere. But yeah, that's uh, that's gonna wrap it up. Um, I just want to give a huge shout out and a huge thank you to all of you guys. Honestly, um, I said it in the um, 500 subs video. I think I said it in the uh, in another video, but like I I don't say it enough. I really got to say it more. You guys, thank you so much for all of your support. Uh, this channel wouldn't be what it is right now without all of you. Uh, I've gotten to rivaling people that have been doing this for two to three years uh, in terms of sub count and views, and um, and I've only been at it for eight months. So the future of the channel. It can only get better from here. After actually, after the giveaway video, like the announcement of the winner of the giveaway, I was expecting to drop about 120 subs. We've gone up <laughs> from there, so that's incredible. That alone is so so crazy that I'm still over 500 subs, and I I dropped subs. Trust me, I dropped about 40 to 50 subs, but I still went back up, which is. Oh, I, I, again, I just can't thank all of you enough. Thank you so much for all your continued support, everything that you guys do for this channel, comments, likes, shares, uh, just talking to me about the videos. Like, uh, somebody actually used one of my, um, my uh, draft review video uh, videos, like suggestions as far as good partners uh, for one of their draft picks, uh, and... They they thanked me for it. Like it was, it's really cool to see that I can have a little bit of an influence on the Pokemon community. Uh, if I can make your day better, if uh, I can make you guys laugh, if watching my lives uh, helps you get um, get good at Pokemon, if if it just brightens your day in general, like that's that's already enough to me. And you guys do so much for me. That's the least I can do for you. So that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, again. As always, if you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you guys later. Ciao.